Hey everyone, welcome to Introduction to Web Development. Now, my name is Austin Morrow, the guy that believes that you can do much more. Now, today I'm going to walk you through how you can start a career in web development. So this is not just about teaching you how to design one website. It is teaching you how to design websites. So we're going to be introducing you to some skills on how to actually design websites. So unlike other courses that will just teach you how you can put one or two together to make a website, this one is going to be showing you how you can actually develop a website from the scratch to finish. And by so doing, we'll be introducing you to a few things. Now, here is the course outline. Introduction to web design. Now, we're going to look at the history of web design. We're going to look at technology and register. We're going to look at basic uh, HTML code, basic uh, CSS scripts. Then we're going to look at what you see is what you get. A blogger blog. Then we are going to look at content management system. Then we are introducing you to WordPress. We're going to look at a control panel interface. What does it look like? What, what is control panel? Then we're going to show you how you can purchase a domain and you're going to also get a hosting. Then we're going to show you how you can install WordPress on your hosting. Then how you can edit your WordPress using WordPress editing tool, then how you can actually use Teams and plugins in WordPress, then customizing your WordPress site, and we'll look in-depthly on CMS, that's Content Management System, and we'll look at other interface. Then uh, we're going to give you a bonus. Before we conclude, we're going to give you a bonus, and the bonus is how do you get job as a web developer how do you make money as a web developer? How do you get client? How do you create your portfolio? Now, this is the full course we are ready to give to you in this training. And besides, we're going to drop a CSS dictionary for you, HTML dictionary, all the stuff that you will need to actually be a professional web developer. And we're going to be sharing with you two ICT acronyms uh, book where you can understand a few terminology here and there about um, ICT. Now, very quickly, let's go in. What is web design? Web design could be the surface, could just be uh, the UX. And uh, web development is everything from hosting to building a website to marketing a website to uh, building the connectivity within a website. When we talk about web design, we are talking about a complete design. We're talking about the usability, the functionality, the messages you are going to be sending, the simplicity, the professionalism, the branding, the engagement, and accessibility. Now, all this we're going to be looking at in this very course. Now, let's look at history of web design. In the beginning, it was straight HTML, and it was good. People enjoyed it. It was plain. It was just something like this, but it was good. And when you have something like this, then there are codes that are written under what you can see now. Now, this is the code that created this. This created this. Now, you can pay attention. This is the code. Whatever is written down here is what created this that you can see. This was the beginning, and it was good. Then we started having frames, table, image, and all that. Then later, it even get better. We started having what you see is what you get interface. And uh, we started having beautiful design done by Java, JavaScript, CSS, Flash, and all that. So it even get better that now we start having content management system like WordPress, Joomla, Drupal, and all the rest. And now we have PHP that can help you to combine all of it into a meaningful website. Now, now let's look at technology and register. Now we have several technology uh, that we use when we are talking about web development or web design. We have HTML, we have uh, XML, we have DHTML, we have HTTPS, we have FTP, we have URL, we have XXX, we have CMX, name it. Like as I promised at the beginning, we're going to draw an ICT acronym uh, book for you to see everything here. You get it in the description box. There's going to be a link that will help you to download it. All right. 
uh, these are more registers. Uh, we, we, we have uh, stuff like JavaScript, Cache, responsive design, backend, backlink, Favicon, metadata, permalinks, and plugins. These are the terms you will likely hear us use from time to time as we progress in this course. Now, we have orders. In your website, you have a page and you have sites. What's the difference? Now, a single HTML uh, or HTM5 is a page. Then a site, it consists of multiple pages. Now, for you to say you have a website, it means you have a multiple pages. Uh, however, we can have a website of a single page with multiple links. Now, what is in the name? We're talking about URL. This is where we all start because this is the address that actually leads you to your site. Uh, URL is... Um, stand for Uniform Resource Locator. Uh, the best way I could explain it to you is like the pathway to your house. Let's say you build a house. The house is the website. And uh, that house was designed. That is the, des the, the way you design a website. That house had um, a plan. That is how you are going to have your website plan. That house was built in a land. That is how you are going to have a hosting. And that house has a pathway, an address to it. That is how you have your URL, what you call your domain name, right? That is the best way I can explain it. Now, uh, your URL, which is your uniform resource locator, contains three parts. The first part is the protocol. That's the, the, the step to that uh, uh, name. Then we have the server name. Then we have the file name, indicating parts. Now, the protocol, you can see it is HTTP or FTP or HTTPS and all that. Then the server name is the main name of the website that end with a .com or a .net or a .org. Then we have the file name that help you to locate the very part of the website that you are going to. Let's pick an example. We have um, HTTPS uh, double slash uh, postpays.com. Then we have uh, makemoneyonline.html. Now, the first part, which is the protocol, is the HTTPS uh, column double slash. Then the server name is postpays.com. Then the file name is makemoneyonline.html. Now, this is me breaking it down for you. Protocol for reading, server, server name. Then we have the file name and part. Now, that is your URL. Don't ever forget this. In every web design, we have these elements. We have graphic design, which is part of the UI. Then we have navigation. We have text on the web. We have image and photos. We have a user-friendly. It has to be user-friendly, which is the UX. We have editing and maintaining, updates and XEO. These are the elements that make up a good website. Because your good, a good website must be functional. So for your site to be functional and good, these are the elements you will be looking at. So the UX, which is going to talk about the experience, you're going to talk about the valuability of what you have, the usefulness of the content you have there, then how your entire experience is satisfied and convenient for those who are going to come there, then the credibility, not just you copy and paste other people's work, credibility of your site, then the desirability. Will I want to come to the site again? Then accessibility is key. Now, this is the experience that the person is going to get, whoever is coming to your site. So you should have that in mind. Then we'll talk about the uh, uh, interface. How does it look? We're talking about the color scheme. We're talking about the content, how they are placed side by side. We're talking about the buttons. We're talking about the forms, the images, the layout, and the topography. This is the interface. The interface determines uh, what you put in there and what it looks like. Then the uh, experience determines how people look at your site, whether they're going to come back again, whether the site is uh, mobile friendly or not, or just a static website. Now, basic files on the net. We have the HTML file, we have the text document uh, plus code, then we have the browser interpreting the code, then we have the code containing a tag, then we have images, sound, videos, and all that and all that. So let's look at the basic type of files that you have on the web. You have images. You can have a GIF. You can have a, a JPEG. Uh, you can have a PNG and all that and all that. You can have different kind of files on your website. So 
look at this. This is the kind of site you're going to design with this course. Now, it is not just a desktop site. Uh, if you turn it around, it is mobile friendly, completely mobile friendly site. Now, as you can see, this is the mobile side of the site. So the site is fully responsive site. When we say responsive site, we are saying site that fit into different interface. You can see all that. You are going to put this together. Yes, this is what you are going to do. This is the kind of site you are going to uh, get to work with. All right, you can build that kind of site that we just showed you. Now, that site contain graphics. The logo is a graphic. The images are there. Uh, we have the navigating links, uh, we have the text on the web, we have, uh, and it's user friendly. Uh, that's a responsive website. Then we can keep addicting and maintaining that website. We can do run update on the site, and it already has its own XEO. Now, that is what we are going to be designing. So, with the next video, we'll be starting from basic HTML. So, we're going to walk you through HTML and we'll walk you through CSS in the next video. See you in the next video.